Kicking off my series of mod showcases is going to be Ultimate Firefight Sand Trap by Weaver900. And boy do we have a banger to start off with. I've done a video and a few streams in the past on the channel of the mod already, but that was an older version of the mod and there's so much more to talk about with it. Now, if you don't exactly have an idea of what a roguelite is, it mainly deals with randomized events and insane replayability, and this mod definitely has both. Now, on the surface level of the mod, it's already doing something cool by having a fully scripted firefight for Halo 3, which is impressive considering the mode was later introduced in future Halo games. When you get deeper into the mod is where you see the really impressive stuff and that mainly being the roguelike mechanics that Weaver scripted into Halo's firefight. As soon as you load into the mod, you're greeted with a plethora of models that you can choose for the player, and these can range from ODSTs, Marines, Spartans, and even the lowly crewmate. After that, you're brought into the hangar of the frigate that you're on to pick through an assortment of weapons for your loadout. You might also hear the ship AI and various other characters talking and directing you throughout the mod. Also, you might hear them crack funny meta jokes from time to time, so definitely listen out for those. The voice lines also serve as a tool to deliver the mod's lore to you, as this is set in either some time around Infinite's timeline or shortly after. Once you're finished picking weapons, you have a few options you can customize for the mod, and one of them is toggling a day-night cycle for Sand Trap, which is a nice touch. Currently, the partner system is being reworked, but in past versions of the mod that I've played, you could pick how your chosen ally would look. Then, when you're ready to head out, you'll be loaded up on a vulture and have to blast through tons of banished vehicles and ground forces. After absolutely crushing that intro wave, you'll be dropped down onto the ground for a not-so-traditional firefight experience. You'll start fighting waves of banished forces, blasting through them with this Giga Sandbox. Seriously, there's so many weapons in this mod that it'll probably take you a while before you find them all. Another amazing feature of the mod is the dynamic soundtrack scripts in it. You'll hear all kinds of different Halo music from various games as you progress through the waves. After you beat a wave is where the roguelike mechanics come into play. You'll be able to choose a reward, which can range from a new weapon, a vehicle, or a squad of allies. Coming in, clear the landing zone and get ready to open your presents, kids. 
And again, much like the weapon sandbox in this mod, there are so many vehicles and different allies to choose from. After a few normal waves, you might encounter a special wave, which, as you might imagine, can have special units for you to fight. In my case, I got the Brawl special wave on wave 5, and it came with a bunch of hammer brutes, and these brutes with an energy claw-like weapon. Unfortunately for the Banished, I made quick work of them with the Jackrabbit. One thing about the mod that I want to point out in more detail is how good the Banished assets look. The brute armor looks great, and the banished vehicles have really nice shader work on them. Finally, on wave 10, you'll get a randomized boss wave. And in my case, I got the Covenant boss. The boss waves go all out too. First, I saw Tartarus and a horde of brute and elite honor guards, and then I saw all three Covenant Prophets flying overhead in their floating chairs. And not gonna lie, this wave kicked my ass on normal, so there's definitely some challenge with this mod. The most amazing part of this boss wave was that you can hijack the Prophet's chair and fly around fighting the Covenant. This mod was a blast to revisit again, and I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already down in the description. A Halo roguelite is such a unique experience and allows for endless fun to be had in this mod. So that'll be it for this showcase, and I appreciate you watching this far. If you have any ideas for what mod I should cover next, consider leaving a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.